Action Headquarters now breaking down the results of our Eyewitness News Roger Williams University exclusive poll. Joining us live in studio to give us his take on all the results, our Eyewitness News political analyst, Joe Fleming. Good morning, morning Joe. Good morning. So for any of our viewers who might not have seen it last night, we want to bring them up to date first sure. in the poll for the race for governor. So here are the results. We asked 420 likely voters who they would vote for if the election were held today. 43% chose incumbent Gina Raimondo, 36% for Republican Alan Fung, and 7% said that they would support independent Joe Trillo. So this is a bit of uh, good news for the governor since she has seen her lead grow somewhat since our last poll. So talk a little bit about your analysis about why we've seen that shift. Well, I think there could be a couple of reasons. One is she could have gotten a bump from the primary. She did a lot better in the Democratic primary than people expected. The other thing is she spent over $1.7 million on TV advertising in the last two and a half months. That has an impact. Alan Fung has just gone up on TV after the primary. So she's been getting her message out. He has not been getting his message out up to this point. But this can all change in the next seven weeks. Keep this in mind. The other thing that you and I were talking about off camera was how she polled with women this yes. time around versus the last time yes. we did when poll. we polled in July, she had a 10-point lead among female voters. Now she has a 20-point lead. Back in July, Alan Fung had a six-point lead among males. He now has a seven-point lead. So her lead has now come because of her strong support among female voters in the state of Rhode Island. All right, and Joe, you touched upon this briefly about the governor and her spending over the summer months on right. television ads. And our poll found, though, that only 50% have a favorable view of her after seeing the ads and watching her on the campaign trail. So how does she move that needle? Well, in all three polls, she had a favorability of 50%. I'm not sure she's ever going to be able to move that needle. I think voters in Rhode Island are pretty decided whether they like her or they don't like her mm. or their opinion. So what she's trying to do is take that 50%, and some of them are not supporting her yet, is move them to her side. All right, and we did find, too, from this poll that 9% of voters still have not made up their mind. Right. We still have about six weeks left, which is, you know, kind of typical, I would I yes. imagine, with your undecideds. But, you know, how does Alan Fung try to pull some of the numbers into his camp? Well, he has to come up with some reasons for those undecided voters to go over to him. There's a good chance they haven't decided. They've known the governor for four years. They haven't said they're voting for the governor. He has a good opportunity with those voters. That's why I believe this race could still close up and be very tight at the end, depending on what Alan Fung does over the next seven weeks. All right, and that poll that we just uh, released, too, shows that Joe Trillo has about 7% of the vote right now. And that's right. exactly the gap between Mayor Fung right. and Governor Raimondo. So what kind of pressure could you see for Joe Trillo to drop out? I don't see any way Joe Trillo is going to drop out of this race. He's in this race to win it. He believes he can win the race for governor, even though his poll numbers are low at this time. He feels he's going to have a surge. He hasn't started any paid media. So I think Joe Trillo believes he has a chance in this race. All right, and Joe Trillo not happy with the results no. of our poll. He released a statement, and here it is, last night saying, quote, and your name is in it, Joe. Sure. How can Joe Fleming put out a poll so soon after the primary? It is irresponsible to go out into the field mere days after the primary election when some voters are not yet focused on the governor's race. Any pollster would know that this skews the results. So what do you think? We've yeah, seen I mean, voters are tuned right. in, right? Yes, voters are tuned in. We have polls are done immediately after primaries to get a snapshot of how the voters feel, which way they're moving. That's what WPRI and Roger Williams College wanted to do. They wanted to get a snapshot of how the voters feel right after the primary. As I said, the governor could have got a bump from the poll. We don't know that. But again, the poll was done the way it should be done. It was just done a couple days after the primary. That's all. And it's important to note there will be other polls done yes, over the next Yes, there's going to be other polls weeks. by WPRI, Roger Williams University before the election. All right. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And we want to let you know that next week we are bringing you our first live televised debate of the Rhode Island gubernatorial race as the candidates will face off at Roger Williams University next Thursday, September 27th. Tim White, Ted Nisi will be moderating that one-hour debate, which will air live at 7 p.m. and immediately after the debate.